Hi, I'm Stacey Harmon, and welcome to this edition of Evernote in the Wild. Today, I'm going to give you a little glimpse, just a little glimpse, into how I do my getting things done or my GTD deployment in Evernote, in particular, my daily task management. So I get asked questions about this all the time, and I it's Monday, so it's the beginning of the week. I did a weekly review, and what I realized is I have a lot of projects that I need to make some progress on, and I was struggling to kind of get started. So what I did is I calendar time blocked all of those items. Now, the reality is when I put something on my calendar, I am committed to taking care of it at that day and time. If something goes on my calendar, it is date and time specific. But there's really two different types of day specific tasks. There's ones that have to be done on a certain day and there's ones that have to be done on a certain time and day. So on my calendar, I put the ones that have to be done on a certain time and day and I stick to it. Uh, and in Evernote, in my Tickler file, which is just my digital adaptation of what David Allen talks about is his Tickler file in his book, uh, I track those things that are date specific and those things that I need to work on uh, in Evernote uh, uh, during that particular day. Now, <clears throat> um, it's a very fluid system, and so the video is going to show you how I move them from one system, the calendar, into the tickler file and give you some insight into why I did that and how I do it and enfold in also another technique I use called the Pomodoro Technique. And I'll put a link to both GTD and the Pomodoro Technique in the in the comments below. But you'll see how I use my calendar, how I use Evernote, and the difference between how I schedule items based on that. So enjoy. I made sure that I was time blocking some of my projects that I have going on right now, which are a lot, so that I would make sure that I would work on them. Because when it goes on my calendar, it's gold. It means it's a date and a time that I need to attend to it. What I was finding, though, is that now appoint real appointments that are date and time oriented were starting to creep in to overlap some of the free time activities that I need to get done. So I'm going to switch these over so that I'm still working on them, but they have a little bit more fluidity. So I have just email and other coordination. I allocated two hours. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to put this over on my tickler file for today, which this moves into my next month because that was yesterday. And I said two hours, so I'm going to put one, two, three, four. Each checkbox is a Pomodoro, and I am going to allocate those two hours today to work on it. I'm still going to work on it today because i got to get through all this list today. But email, that's just a bug in Evernote. It drives me freaking nuts. hope they fix it soon. One, two, three, four. Email and other coordination. So that's just, that's a meaningful task to me and I'm going to allocate two hours to do it. <clears throat> and that opens up my schedule. It's, you know, I could fit in, in now right here or here. Um, I also need to work on my welcome sequence. Again, I allocated two hours. That's not going to work right there. One, two, three, four. Uh, drip welcome sequence. Uh, this is a real appointment. I need to look at my social media plan for the next week. So I'm going to do that for an hour. I recorded an hour and a half for that. So we'll put it three. And actually, see, I had doubled it up already. <clears throat> so I'm going to just single that up and that helps my overwhelm a little bit. So now I've kind of opened up my schedule so that I've moved from actual time blocking where it wasn't going to be realistic for me to hold those exact appointments to knowing exactly what's on my calendar and working on those things when the time frame comes up. So um, those are that's kind of how I manage some of my time blocking and project management. You can see it's a little bit fluid, but um, now I've got it here on my list. So now you see exactly my calendar and Evernote, and you can see I don't have anything less to do. It's just that my calendar now only represents the items that are due on a specific date and a specific time. And I have 
windows of time in there where I transfer over to Evernote and I work on those items that are on my tickler or daily task system. So my goal is to make sure that that daily task system or tickler note is clear by the end of the day and I use that Pomodoro app that I have on my computer or I use a Pomodoro app that I have kind of on my computer. I didn't cover it in the video to mark off and track my progress through each of those checkboxes. So I often get asked the question, what are the multiple checkboxes represent my task list. Those are Pomodoros in my world. So um, if I happen to fly through the allocated time, you know, I had four hours allocated for some of those things, then I'll just move on to the next item or pull something from my next actions list, which is also part of David Allen's system, not covered in this video, but hopefully you learned something uh, a little bit more about how I structure my tasks and my calendar items and make progress on my projects using GTD and Evernote. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'm happy to attempt to answer them. And thanks for watching. Till next time.